All right, here we are, another noon whistle. Hey, I got some special guests here today. Um, we're without Chris Trottier. He had to be out of town, so I'm flying solo. So uh, be nice to me because I'm trying to manage the technical side and the talking side, and I'm only good at one at one of those, and it's uh, not the technical side. So. <laughs> well, you guys walked me through the technical problem I was having. Yeah, well, we got you now, Chris. So we're glad we got you now, and. Uh, we're going to roll. So we're going to talk all things summer Elkhorn. And we got Chris Clapper, executive director of the chamber, and Larry Gaffey, general manager of the fairgrounds. Two people who got their hands in most, if not all, of the things going on here in the summer in Elkhorn. How you doing, John? I'm good. How you doing? How you doing, Chris? Good. How are you guys? Good. Hey, I want to jump right in. I noticed that there's another building at the fairgrounds painted. Larry, what can you tell me about that? Yeah, it's kind of fun. I mean, we get mixed reviews, mostly good, but we uh, we developed a new logo for the fairgrounds, and um, it's based on the Walworth County Visitors Bureau uh, logo, which is a multicolor logo. Um, the colors represent just different aspects of Walworth County, water, trails, all of that. Uh, there was a lot of research uh, done on that, and we needed to freshen up our look uh, at the fairgrounds, too. And we thought what better way than to tie into to the uh, marketing campaign that Walworth County Visitors Bureau is doing and and go all in, paint our buildings. And it's turned into a, a really cool blessing, too, because people say, where's the office? Where's the bat? Ba where are the bathrooms? They're in the orange building. Where are the, you know, where's the yeah. dining hall? It's a red building, you know, so it's worked out really well. I think I sent you a a screenshot of our our new logo uh, of the you fairgrounds. You did. You did. I love my vote for the buildings is a plus. I love it. You'd have my vote. I don't know what Chris's opinion is, but I think it's great. I love the idea that you followed through with the Walworth County Visitors Bureau. And as someone who's working uh, and doing different volunteering opportunities at the fairgrounds, I know the first flea market. I had somebody say, "Where's the washroom?" I always used to say, "The one with the pendant flags." And I went, "This time, the big orange building." That's right. So it was very yeah. nice. All right, let's check out this new logo. There it is. There it is. I like it. Yeah. It, it really brands us. It separates us from other event facilities. And, and we really do. Uh, it kind of closes the sale when you come onto the property and see those uh, those buildings matching that logo. And I think it's something that we can run with for years and years to come. So we're very proud of it. Yeah. What will we see that on? Um, that logo is all over our website. You're going to start seeing it more on our, you know, our souvenirs, T-shirts, that sort of thing. Um Anywhere you see a fairgrounds thing, we're going to slowly transition out of the old logos and into this one consistent logo for the fairgrounds. We always have a different logo for each fair. Uh, this year is our 175th anniversary of the Walworth County Fair. And, um, of course, we've got a special logo for that. And uh, you can find that uh, on our website as well. But, uh, and we're, we're, but we're super excited. 175 years. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. That yeah. is. That's really amazing. And not only 175 years, but, you know, Larry, congratulations to you. You've you've brought a lot of things here and, and a lot of people into our town and a lot of people that do business here and different opportunities for the people that live here. So thank you for your time here as part of that 175 years. Yeah, and I'm just a part of it. Of course, we've got a, a fantastic board of directors, uh, the Walworth County Ag Society and a lot of people don't realize the and Chris. I got to thank Chris Clapper too for all the help that the Chamber of Visitors Bureau's uh, uh, done for us to try and get the word out about our, our events. But uh, many people don't realize that the Walworth County Fairgrounds is privately owned, and uh, most fairgrounds across the country are owned by some government entity, typically the county or the state, sometimes even the city, and uh, and we're not and. The county's not interested in running our facility, and I'm pretty sure the city isn't interested in it either. Um, and there are advantages to having a government-run facility in, as far as, you know, keeping up the, the the infrastructure and buildings and all of that sort of thing. You're you're kind of working with tax dollar money, but we're not. And but the advantage to not uh, having to to uh, utilize taxpayer money is that we're able to make decisions pretty quickly. And if uh, challenges pop up, we can make we can pretty much correct it quickly. 
if we have an opportunity pop up, we don't have to wait months and months and months for a decision to be made. We can just make it on our own. And but the other the other part of it is that we have to make money to be able to maintain our facilities. Our number one uh, mission is to provide ag education facilities for kids, and and number two to uh, provide facilities for quality enter entertainment for all of Walworth County and beyond. So uh, to maintain those buildings, we've got to make some money. So doing horse events, doing all these other events, Rib Fest, this new Neon Nights uh, music festival, all of those things um, help us earn income so that we can maintain and, and beautify the fairgrounds. So yeah. I think we've got close to 100 buildings and you know how many roofs have to be replaced every year? There's always one or two, right. you know, so, uh, and, and that and beyond. So at any rate, um, happy to be part of a great organization like uh, the Walworth County Fairgrounds and all of its members. It's member owned. Uh, right. Yeah. So uh, proud and happy to be a part of that. Well, I think, you know, what's also unique and Chris, you know, you and Larry have a great partnership as far as fair, our Fairgrounds Chamber. I know um, Larry and Chris, my partnership through the schools and our school district with you guys is is amazing. And I think it all just, it seems together. And I don't know if people understand, Larry, that from either the chamber side, Chris, or the fairground side, that how tight partnerships are between so many agencies and so many groups and nonprofits within our community that we're pretty fortunate. And people comment to me like, oh, Elkhorn, you know, you're lucky that you have, it's kind of seamless between everybody. And I guess you just assume everybody does it that way. And Larry, you're so good to the schools with, you know, they utilize, your roadways for our pickup drop-offs to Jackson School and you know in the winter time when when things need to get done or plowing or in and out like yeah we're, we're always going hey what do you think and and you've always been a yes and I know Chris you're the same way with with the partnership that we have and so I'm grateful for you guys and uh, I don't want to take any longer let's get into what's going on this summer <laughs> let's go yeah all right who's starting go ahead Larry <laughs> All right, let me uh, pull up my event calendar here. So this month in June, um, we've you know we've already had this this spring and summer. Uh, I guess it's not officially summer yet, but this spring we've a bunch of horse shows, a bunch of events. We had a circus here last week. Um, we started kind of mid-April, uh, and last weekend we had a cowgirl challenge in our horse area that was really cool. Uh, but this coming up here, um, we've got uh the it's the carriage classic and i don't know um probably not many people have seen this but it's one of the most beautiful horse shows you'll ever see they they come out with uh they they dress in period they've got carriages and and uh um, different types of draft uh draft wagons and that sort of thing and they go through obstacle courses and and every the horses are uh, polished up completely, all of their uh, tack and everything's polished. It's just a beautiful thing. And uh, we've got another horse show that weekend too. Uh, we have high school association horse show, but pork chop cookouts coming up June 19th. And that's, I know uh, a lot of people wait for that. We typically, uh, Dave Adams, our board president, he'll cook around 6,000 pork chops between four and 7 p.m. And uh, we have drive-through. You can eat in the in the activity center out on a picnic table. Um, any of that coming up? People wait uh, for that. They line up for that. Baby. Well, they do. They'll be yeah. lined up by three o'clock. Yeah. And you can buy tickets if you go to our website. There's there's probably 25, 30 different ticket locations. Mm -hmm. You can also buy them online. Um, yeah. But uh, too many to too many outlets to kind of mention in in this show. But uh, check it out. Then, We've got another big popular thing since the uh, whole Yellowstone Yellowstone series came out. Um, there, there's there's always been a ranch horse association, but it's really taken off. Uh, this whole Western lifestyle thing has taken off, and there's a ranch horse show uh, June the weekend of June 22nd. That's really neat. They're roping cattle, they're sorting cattle, they're doing all the fancy horse things you see on uh, on the on those on that series. We got a mini horse show, and of course, the antique flea market's coming up June thirtieth. So that's the uh, that second wraps, one, right? That's the second, second one. one. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the second one, and uh, uh, the attendance for those has been fantastic. Uh, I think last year, this last one, there wasn't any vendor space left; it was sold out. There's over five hundred antique vendors there. 
That happens about four times a year. So that wraps up. Yep, that brings them in. Um, the, Elk, the Elkhorn Equestrian Event Center, which is, we, we kind of named it that because we, our horse area, because we have so many horse shows and um, it helps kind of identify that for people that aren't familiar with the fairgrounds. And um, But the, the Equestrian Center has become one of the most well-known barrel racing facilities in the upper Midwest, if not the most famous one. Um, you know, we've got 450 permanent horse stalls. We've got five arenas. Um, and we've got a huge barrel racing show coming up uh, the July 5th and 6th. And then we've got professional uh, championship bull riding on July 5th and 6th as well, which is it's a it's a championship series that travels all over the country. They get some of the best bull riders in the world coming out to this. Um, it's super, super good value for your family to come out and watch. And that it's a Friday, Saturday, July 5th and 6th has a massive fireworks show after each event. Um, so, uh, you know, if you want to catch some more 4th of July fireworks, that, that's a good time to do it. And then, of course, Elkhorn Rib Fest is coming up, John. Uh, starts Ooh. July 10th, goes through the 14th, um, and that's a, you know, a, b- a big event, and uh, it grows every year. We're fully expecting over 100,000 people again this year. They're coming in from... <laughs> all over the place iowa minnesota michigan illinois indiana they come in for this thing we've got champion uh, uh barbecue companies coming in from across the country even australia so larry um, last year you asked chris and i to be judges yeah and we we graciously uh took yeah. the offer <laughs> and i think i still have the meat sweats <laughs> <laughs> Well, you better get over him because I'm going to invite you to come and judge again. You, two. So. <laughs> I don't know if my body could take that. It was amazing. You're like, this is really good. This is really good. And about <laughs> a half hour later, I thought I need a nap. I need to lay down. <laughs> you don't eat the whole rib. You just take a bite, man. You don't have to eat. You know, <laughs> well, I was a, I was not a veteran taster, so I was not <laughs> digging in. <laughs> I do believe he was supposed to come volunteer for me, and he was having the meat sweats and said, I got to take a nap. So, so, no. Yeah. We got, we got uh, steak cookout. The uh, Junior Beef Project uh, every year does a, a steak cookout. It's drive through and dine in. Um, great steaks, cooked to order. They got burgers as well. And that's a great way to support your youth and ag education. Come out to steak cookout. Um, we also do a Smiles Horse Show uh, that's coming up in July. Um, we give them the arena for nothing for that, but uh, it's about therapeutic riding for people with with disabilities and that sort of thing and and uh super happy to be able to provide uh facilities for them more barrel racing we've got a big dog show that happens every year at the end of july the burlington kennel club does their dog show if you've never been out to see that it's pretty neat um all breeds uh these are most of them are professional dog breeders the owners aren't even there it's their handlers and they're traveling around oh. in these big fancy uh, uh, RVs and they travel all over the country showing their animals. So, so none of the is, owners are there. Those are all just, well, kids. some are, some okay. are, but a lot of them are just people that are hired to showcase that owner's uh, dogs. And uh, of course, you know, they're all trying to get to uh, Westminster somehow or some of the, some of the giant international shows, but this is one that's well recognized and, as some of the best uh, dogs you'll find. Um, pretty cool. Hmm. And that wraps up our July. And August, we've got, of course, um, you know, our new music festival called Neon Nights. It happens August 2nd and 3rd. It's a classic country music festival. I think we've got, Chris, I can't remember. What do we have? Eight, nine different uh, artists. Yeah. Uh, Winona Judd, Trace Adkins, um, John Michael Montgomery, on and on and on. Uh, that two could days. be amazing. That could yeah. be really, really amazing. We're really excited to uh, be able to bring that here. And um, there's not really many festivals like that that, that focus on uh, older country music. And when I say older, John, I don't mean older than you. I mean like 90s. <laughs> I appreciate that. I just had a birthday. So did Chris. So uh, <laughs> we're heading that way. But I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we got National Night Out again, August 6th. That uh, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people have heard of that, but it's where 
all of our area fire departments and law enforcement and uh, uh, you know EMS, all of them, uh, the county uh, sheriff's office, they all come out and display their equipment and do demonstrations in the grandstands. They'll do uh, crash demonstrations, canine demonstrations. Um, it's just a good way for uh, our our first responders and and the community to kind of get to know each other a little bit and. Um, you know, a lot of these departments are volunteers. Some are, uh, uh, you know, employed by the city or whatever, but they're all people that really care about our community. And I think it's communities. And I think it really is a great thing for people to get out and say hi and show their appreciation. And and, uh, and they'll also show you some really cool stuff. So um, that's coming up. Then another flea market, August 11th. Um, and one of our biggest events of the year, we have, the Wisconsin State Barrel Racing Championships, uh, the NBHA, it happens, starts on August 15th, and we'll have horses in the dairy barns. I mean, we'll have, we have, oh, wow. we've got 450 stalls, and it's not enough. This It's, it's pretty cool. Um, it's worth coming out. It's free to come out and watch them run. Um, and then, of course, the fair uh, starts August 28th. Yeah, yeah. Then that... Uh... That's exciting, but it also sends the message that it's fall is coming and it's time to go back to school. And uh, yeah, no, thanks, Larry. That's so, I mean, there's so many things going on there, a little bit of something for everybody. Um, yeah. Where can someone find if they want to go look at what's there that they might want to do? Um, go to our website and you can see, um, well, or our Facebook page, Walworth County Fairgrounds, and you'll see if you look under our events. Uh, you'll see most things uh, have, have a unique event page with more details on on each one of those. And, of course, our website, walworthcountyfairgrounds.com, uh, okay. the event calendar. And when you go to the event calendar and you hover over an event, it'll give you a little a, a little more description about what that event is or if there's a link available to learn more, more and more details about each one of those. You'll be able to find it there. Okay. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, the fair, I know it's, it, everybody thinks of oh, Mark Sanders summer. Well, you just got to go in a positive attitude. We always call it one last summer smile, you know, and then, then all the school fun starts. So, <laughs> yeah. So, Chris, yes. to add to that, oh my, not to be second, but the chamber has all kinds of things going on already and things coming up, right? We do. We do. Well, we kicked off in in may with our food truck festival uh then memorial day weekend we started out with our saturdays on the square which runs through labor day which is on saturdays from nine to one we have a variety of vendors uh fresh fruit bakery and um, craft and some direct sale we don't call it a farmer's market because it's just not farmers you know uh that type of produce um, you can find anything. Uh, I worked last Saturday at fresh squeezed lemonade, uh, fresh strawberries. It was great. Uh, it's always fun to work those Saturdays for that short period of time and see uh, people bustling around downtown. So unfortunately, we got a little rain. So, you know, it's rain or shine. People do stick, uh, stick it out. Um, so that's always fun for us. But so Chris, you also play a role in so many of these uh, events, especially like Rib Fest and that at the fairgrounds, right? The chamber plays a role there. We do, and that is an amazing partnership that the Elkhorn Chamber has with the Walworth County Fairgrounds. Um, we are we facilitate organizing volunteers for Larry or the fairgrounds to work different tasks whether it be ticket ambassadors, welcoming people, or working behind the scenes, um, distributing beverages or whatever Larry needs to be done. Um, but the amazing thing that this does for the community is we work with nonprofit groups and um, the fairgrounds is gracious enough to uh, make a donation back to that nonprofit for their hours worked. Um, it's a great way for them to get exposure. We always tell them to wear their wares. You know, if it's an organization, if they have a t-shirt or have t-shirts made, promote themselves. And then 
always be a fine ambassador of the Elkhorn area, the Elkhorn area. And um, Kate and I love that part of it. And uh, we enjoy doing it every year for the fairgrounds and for Larry and his staff. We enjoy it. We have fun doing it. You know, Chris, I, I think we counted a couple of years ago, there were 55 nonprofits yep. that earned pretty big paychecks being involved at things at the fairgrounds. And uh, Chris in the chamber and Kate, uh, are instrumental in getting those groups in and we're really happy that we're able to partner with the, all those nonprofits. It's a, and it, it creates a great economic impact on the community too. It does. Yeah. And the partnerships and networking, it goes back to what we we're talking about at the beginning of how so many things are meshed together. And I don't know if people always realize that or understanding it. And, and Larry, when you were talking, I started thinking like the pork chop cookout. Well, how great is it that all the, all the potatoes are boiled at the Elkhorn Middle School. And your people come over and cause some of our cooks, you know, meet them there. And then all the economic impact for the schools of all the events you bring, because we surround the fairgrounds, there's parking opportunities, opportunities for our clubs and sports and, and everybody to park cars and make money. I don't know that, I don't know of a lot of schools that, have that right where it's like we have this this fundraiser right in the middle of our kind of middle school mm -hmm. district office and high school campus and uh yeah it supports a lot of our extracurricular stuff and clubs yeah very good and and you guys you allow us to use um some of the rooms in school your locker rooms and things for entertainers sometimes or yeah i mean i think last year we had our wizard of oz right cast of characters was yeah. uh, using one of your rooms so that they could go change or cool off or whatever it might be. And yeah, yeah, it's a great partnership. It is. And yeah. I was just thinking, we talked recently kind of reviewing the uh, severe weather for the campgrounds at the fairgrounds that, you know, the schools being a shelter. And so, yeah, I just don't know if people understand the, and, and we're a small portion of what's intertwined in Elkhorn, but there is so much of that. It, it just makes good things happen. Yeah. Great. Well, hey, you, anybody got anything else to add? Because we are winding down. We went a little bit over, but that's okay because it's all about Elkhorn. Well, <laughs> all I can say is for Elkhorn and all the events, uh, visit the elkhornchamber.com or our Facebook page, uh, the Park and Rec, um, all of their information, the library. Let me see. I have some papers here. The Holton Band Concert, the Pool Opens, and the library. Did you guys know? that they have a Lego club. I think I'm gonna go over there and play Legos. I did not. And we can learn how to sew. You can paint at the library, all these fun things. We are just uh, a resource for those uh, calendar of events. And hold on to your hats, boys and girls. Uh, the chamber is turning 50 in September. Wow, so the chamber is a little bit older than you. <laughs> yeah. So funny. On September 19th, which September is also the Chamber of Commerce Month, we will be having an open house. It's a Thursday night. We invite the public and then we will be having a private event afterwards, a ticketed event for some special guests. But we look forward to celebrating our 50th birthday, the month of September. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be yeah. fun. That'll be fun. Well, thank you guys for your time. I know you're both busy, um, but yeah, I wanted to get the word out that all the great things that are going on and all the great things you guys are doing. Thank you guys for uh, your friendship and professional friendships and all that. So uh, on that note, unless anybody's got a quick closing, I'm going to blow the whistle. Well, have a good time. Thanks, John. Thanks. Yeah. Everybody. Thank you guys. Thank you.